Now I happen to be in a Brightworks site. And as I mentioned, Brightwork being a project and portfolio management solution in SharePoint, we're seeing a SharePoint site in Brightwork that is organized and set up to support project management uh, activities and content, including goals and objectives, uh, schedules or, or task lists like this, this being a list in there, uh, issues, as well as status reporting. It also provides a way to easily see how the project is doing by presenting this information with key reporting elements that are built into the site so you can immediately see how this project is doing. Later on, we might be able to look at it at a higher level site that's rolling up this information as well. But what I want to focus on now is in the document library, as I mentioned before, you have the ability to create a workflow and they're out-of-the-box workflows that don't require any other special skill other than to know where they are and turn them on. So I'm going to go to this project document library. And over here, we're going to see workflow settings. And we're going to add a workflow to it. Now, these are built-in workflows. And you can see that there's an approval workflow. There's a collect feedback, collect signatures, and a disposition workflow. Now, I'm going to use the feedback workflow, but we could simply uh, use any one of these. But I'll select that one, and I'll give it a unique name, document approval. Notice we're not having to create any kind of code or set this up. It's already preset, ready to go. We just have to assign it to this document library. And then we're going to use workflow task uh, a workflow task list for the tasks that get created, and we'll have a history list for how it, how it uh, is performing. Now we can start this workflow manually, but we can also have it start when a new document is added to the library. We click Next, and here's the preset form that's already built into this workflow. And it can be pre-populated or left blank just the way it is. We can have uh, one stage. We can also enter an, uh, add a new stage so that there's more to the, to the workflow, but let's leave it like this. So we can have an assigned to, and then we can decide how the items or this particular task is going to go out. Is it going to go out in serial, or is it going to go out in parallel? So you could have multiple people reviewing the document. Then down here is what you, where you can put your message and add a due date and a duration for the, for the task to be accomplished. What are the units, days, hours, days, weeks, months, and if you want to copy anybody on this. And if you want to cancel the workflow if the document is changed before the workflow is completed. So if somebody does an update, that will cancel the workflow and you'd be starting it all over again. So we save this form, and our workflow is now here, document approval, and it's ready for use. So if I come here, and I'm just going to upload a, a document here. And let's see, let's go to webcast here, and I'm just going to put in the the slide deck that I'm working with today. Click OK. And now that's going to start a, the workflow. But what we want to do here is start it manually so that we can assign it out. So I've highlighted the item. Now I can go to this workflow tool right here and start the workflow. So there's our form again. I'm going to go ahead and assign myself to this. Add it in. And then I'm going to add my message. Please review. Uh, 
I'm going to put a uh, I'm going to put a due date in here and say I need this uh, done by tomorrow, and I'll just make this a one day task. So then, once I click start, an email is going to come to me, and here it is. Uh, I'll bring it up here. Task assigned to Scott Footlick, due date 725. Collect feedback and start. Please comment. So I can go to the task, open it, and, and do my completion. Here's a link to the document itself. So you see how the workflow notifies you what's going on and takes you to the document that you want to work with. Now, another thing you can do is while it's in progress, you can go over here to the workflow. Uh, document approval, it's in progress. And we can look at it and see that this task is out to me and it's not completed yet. So you even have a visualization of, of where it is. Now that was all done through a prepackaged workflow that's just that's built into SharePoint that you can add to the document library. 